Saving Face will begin momentarily. We thank you for your patience. Welcome to Saving Face, a Craftic Studios D&D 5e campaign. Things to note as you join us on this adventure. First, this is a heavily homebrewed campaign where we'll bend the rules to suit our story. If it makes a good story, the rule goes out the window. All players are using either homebrew or community created races, classes, or both, and we'll be revealing those as they're revealed over the course of the story so as to avoid spoiling anything. We'll be using safety tools at the table. These will be present in the use of safety cards and extensive communications behind the scenes. Our goal is to make our players and our table as safe as possible. So if we suddenly cut stream, please don't be alarmed. We're working things out and we'll be back shortly. Oh yeah, and we swear. A lot. I'm sorry. Jesus, every time. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 one moment, please. They cannot hear you. Hi. Okay. One moment, please. Hello, everyone. This is your producer fucking the fuck right up. One moment. <laughs> it wouldn't be a face. It wouldn't it's be been a face. A while. Audio. <laughs> it's it's <sighs> been like a month. Yeah. So you gotta. <sighs> and what kind of episode of Saving Face would it be if there wasn't some sort of technical issue? Let's be honest. Yeah. That's it's what we do here. What we do um, all right. Uh, do we actually have audio now? Yes. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> let me try that whole intro again. Um, there we go. In the beginning was the age of darkness, then the age of men, then the age of fire. According to the calendar of the Magisterium d'Orleans, there are four days left in the year 2167 of the fourth age here on the planet known as Eta. I would warn all who travel her shores. Not everything here is as it seems. I am 
Justin McGregor, your DM and host going around the table. We have. I am Liz. I'll be playing Aoife, your Swamp Witch Warlock for the evening. I nailed it. Yay! Good job. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to lose it between episodes, but you got it. I just, That's what it was. She needed the break. She needed yep, the break. <laughs> that, that was it. I guess I needed the break. Uh, mm. Hi, friends. I'm Abe. Uh, I'll be playing Marge, your Warforged Barbarian, and Frostbite, your Fairy Druid, and apparently cat food today because... Cat dad. We'll be, cat we'll, dad. be, we'll, be we'll be wild shaping into kittens. Oh, suddenly he now everybody's like, baby. "This is a fantastic <laughs> one shot episode idea." Yes, yes. Wild okay. shaping into kittens. There yes. is there yes. is a kitten heist. Ask Eva about it. I feel like I've seen that. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. that's a thing. <laughs> yep. But hi, I'm Kayla. I'm playing your half elf paladin, Diana in a new location and a run from a few warrants and if you want it but we're here <laughs> streaming from right next door literally liz is right there <laughs> oh I'm going that's to a wall there. kayla i don't know what you're pointing at abe anyway hi it's me <laughs> nikki and i'll be playing your casual space fun space cutie nia tonight mm-hmm. Yeah, that's me. Space siren. Space siren. Space siren. There it is. Everything but in space. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, in space. Excuse me. (laughs) Is that what she just said? What? What? (laughs) Nothing. Just who? (laughs) And so, um, wait, wait, wait. What? what? God. And so (laughs) we. Um, <clears throat> okay, usual start of stream business. Um, as always, I uh, want to thank Gabe James Games uh, for the class modifier module used to create um, every one of the characters you see here on screen. Um, the class modifier module, if you don't know, uh, uses a narrative system to replace uh, race-based mili- uh, ability modifiers, um, because we don't believe for a moment that race has anything to do with what you're capable of. So why on earth would we build it into our game? Uh, secondly, want to thank Chris Sergi, um, our resident composer, who is responsible for all of the music you hear on Saving Face. Um, also, a couple of plugs. Um, on May 29th, this month, uh, we'll kick off a... Um, uh, charity drive for stop AAPI hate um, with a game called I'm sorry did you say street magic um, created by Caro Ascension uh, excuse me um, and uh, GM'd by our own Alyssa at morning uh, at morning junior pro on Twitter um, and uh, although the schedule has not been finalized on the 31st we will be doing a 12 hour charity stream um, so look out for details there uh, last but not least, uh, this is my every session reminder that we are using the plot point mechanics from the back of the DMG. This means that at any point, a player character can insert a plot element into a scene, and I, the GM, simply have to deal with it. That said, now it's time for my favorite, favorite part of the show. <laughs> After a month off, giving the recap is going to be a beast. I need you all to roll me animal handling. And whoever rolls the high, or whoever rolls the lowest fails the roll and has to give the recap. As they're running away from the beast. Yes, ma'am. Since I, since I gave the episode 13 recap. That's right. I... That's right. You are you're off this week. <laughs> 16. Nice. <laughs> I have to be 24. <laughs> That's I would have expected. <coughs> Solid five. Solid five. Solid five. <laughs> Solid um, five. You've got this small. We have faith. We do. Back to the time. Um, there were traps and tentacles, surely you remember. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. If looks could kill. Justin <laughs> just died. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs>
What's a TPK when it's the DM? Jesus. I was going to say, have you, have you missed, have you missed streaming? Us? I'm just real curious. I really have. I've missed this. Um, but speaking of tentacles, we started off our last session in combat in initiative order where we had to fight an ooze. I believe Justin said it was orange. It was. It was disgusting. Yes. Um, we learned quickly that some things were deflected off of the ooze and some of us were a little frightened and had to run away. And some of us learned that we shouldn't cast spells at it. Um, once the ooze was taken care of, Lucy, our sweet, sweet little babe, kept growling at some stairs that Aoife then smacked with her quarterstaff. Turns out, surprise mimic. Surprise mimic. <laughs> um, after scaring the mimic back into its original form, which is a gray puddle. No, no, we did not scare it. We moonbeamed it. Moonbeamed it into its original form, which is apparently a gray puddle. Our swamp witch decided to destroy water it and dehydrate part of said mimic. It then became no, then it was frightened. My bad. I had things reversed. It was frightened by Nia and then ran away to said beach area that we didn't investigate. After that, we explored some old barracks. I kicked a chest and it inherently broke it because I want to make sure it wasn't a mimic. We found pickaxes, we found axes, we found mining hats. We didn't find it much more of use. We wandered into other caverns where there was almost a fairy circle of mushrooms. Um, we learned that Lucy speaks four languages. Lucy's very and smart. is much smarter than Diana. <laughs> <laughs> um, but much Diana and Lucy most can speak party. under common with one another. Um, Lucy starts speaking with the mushrooms in under common. And then she she lets the mushrooms use her as a middleman to speak through because we can't speak via spore. Um, we learn that the mushrooms are not with the Iron Court. They just want to protect their area away from vampires that are apparently across the river. Um, and after just a little bit long discussion about Iron Court and those dwellings, they're going to help the wargs, make sure the wargs are safe. The wargs are going to let them have their leftovers. Big fun deal. Mushrooms are like, we can get you up to the surface real quick. And we're all just like, eh. Cool, but there's no catch. <laughs> uh, we go back up to the surface. Everything is fine and dandy. We take the, we, we recycle some of the iron bodies that we take from the mushroom peeps to clean out their house and we keep one to take to Malia's Plainsweaver who we meet up with um, we show him his grandfather's journals we discuss what's happening with the iron with the iron court does not believe that Oberon and Seer should know what's happening with the Lunomic but again, we can't be sure, and the party realized that we have to be very careful with the way we ask things. Um, after a long discussion with Malleus, we decide to go back to Eva's hut for the night to make stew, to share, um, and we plan to explore the swamp. Very good. Um, the one detail I would add is that I believe it was agreed that Malius would be joining you in the morning. Yes. Correct. Right. Yep. Yes, correct. And so, um, as you arrive home, um, Petrus knows you're coming and so opens the door to greet you and spare you. Um, <laughs> say we don't get a 20 minute long conversation with Manticore. Come on. I mean, <laughs> I can retcon that if you want, uh, <laughs> if you want. I get to do this. Um, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no. The uh, <clears throat> the door is opened for you rather than you having to go through that again. Um, any business you want to get up to overnight or in the morning before we uh, move ahead? How does everyone spend their evening? Oh, 
I see a finger on her nose. Yes, Abe. Oh, if we're, if we're going to do the what, how's everybody's feather even, I can wait my turn. Oh, okay. No, no, nothing to get up to. Not tonight. Yeah, I, th- I think we would just be probably, I wouldn't even say really planning a course through the swamp because I don't even think Aoife's probably been there maybe once. Yeah. For a very specific reason. Maybe once. Maybe once. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so probably seeing if I've got a map tucked away somewhere, which probably wouldn't be very useful at this point, depending on how old it is and how much the swamp has changed in that time. I was say, you, you have a, 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 a like general map of the swamp. Um, I mean, the swamp is pretty big and this is flyover. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's of, it's of the order of Derby dragons. I mean, that kind of, you know, um, I love just, just g- general areas of this is marshy. This is wet. You're going to need a boat over here. Darby dragons. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got it. Um, bring Got your pee row. Um, huh? Or pierogi if you're hungry. A pierogi? There's bring pierogis. Pierogi. <laughs> Pierogies to feed to the dragons. That's right. <clears throat> As they famously love them. Um, <laughs> now, Abe, you had a finger to the nose. Uh, yeah. So once I get back inside, uh, Frostbite would come out of Marge and go to full size. Mm-hmm. Uh, holding a piece of paper and a quill, mm-hmm. uh, sit down at the table and begin drafting a letter. Hmm. Okay. Funny enough, that's what Petrus was doing when y'all walked in. Um. Anything we need to know about this letter? Anything? Uh, just what you and I already talked about. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the, for the so, sake of the party, he, I was just checking. Yeah. Um, basically, if anybody mm-hmm. like looked over his shoulder, it was it would yeah, be addressed to. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, um, it, it would be uh, an elvish. <laughs> um, most, most likely, probably Sylvan. Mm-hmm. Um. But you would see some words that don't really translate to Sylvan. So you would see Iron and Court and Lunomic a few times. Um, and then once he's done, he would sign it. Um, wait a second. I've got to get to the one note. Uh, Instead of signing it Frostbite, he would just put uh, DGM. Um, sealing his own letter and seeing that uh, you were in the process of writing one yourself, um, Petrus would offer to take yours up to Lash Ashran the following day um, to have it sent. Uh, uh, I appreciate the offer, but... This letter needs to go somewhere the postman can't reach. Oh, one of those. <clears throat> well then, I'll just go send my own mundane post. Where? No judgment. It's just, <laughs> just. Who are you sending a letter to, Frosty? Uh, my grandfather. You miss him, or it's just a oh, check-in I letter? Who is your type kept in contact with? Family? Sure. Um, th- th- this is a, a, a situation that I feel he, he needs to know about with the Iron Court and the Unamic. A- and he is the only one in winter that I trust with my full name. Fair. Like, can we trust him with this information? I would almost think that a fairy trusting someone with their full name means that they trust them implicitly. Okay. Ow! 
much help will your grandfather be able to give us in for this situation? Like, <laughs> do they happen to have an army waiting? That, that one. Uh, you you see Frostbite give a, a, a very predatory grin and go, you could say that. Oh Excuse me. I, I need to summon my mailman. Summon the mailman. <laughs> that sounds. Oh my goodness. Mm, ominous. Ominous. <laughs> I love it. It, it, it got it progressed. Would step outside. I almost want to peek out the window. Uh, I'm absolutely peeking out the window. Are we all just like on the ledge with like just our eyeballs peeking. <laughs> yeah, that's right. None of us are sneaky. No, no I literally just pull the curtains open. Just <laughs> like we want, we want to see. It's this. gonna, it's gonna stand there. Just casually what is your against what, the window? What is? What would a mailman for a fairy look like? Would it just be another fairy? Would it be a gust of wind? Am I cast a small uh, rabbit? S- summon Faye, Justin. Small rabbit. <laughs> guinea pig. You know, oh, guinea pig. Oh, yeah. All of these so cute. That's not what's happening here. Sorry. <laughs> Except like a really large guinea pig. <laughs> I'm imagining just those big, giant rabbits. Those, just, those, those mega rabbits. Very large cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a snow leopard. Yes. Be, 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 <laughs> The the fake kitten appears. Um, no, all right. So you have you have summoned your fae. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and it will take your letter. Um, as the party can't hear the conversation, I won't have us play it here. But um, they will do as instructed. Is it the one we discussed? Yes. Excellent. So. <clears throat> Um, that excitement out of the way. Um, with no other business for the evening, um, morning comes uh, overcast. Um, it's almost like it takes the sun a little extra time to, to wake up. Um, heavy clouds hanging overhead. Um, about the time something like daylight starts to come through the drawn curtains you hear someone coming up the stairs very slowly very heavy and a muffled hey what's your oh god what happened to you oh no (laughs) and then a (laughs) oh no (laughs) open the door (laughs) he opens the door oh no Uh, you look down the stairs and there is Maylie's Plainsweeper, sure enough. Looking like he's been mauled by a pack of wild dogs. Oh, goodness. Uh, his, to- his clothes are torn. He's bloodied. Um, probably took an effort of will to get upstairs in the first place. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I could have warned me about that goddamn door. With seeing that, uh, Diana runs out the door. Can can we maybe get can him we... onto the carpet and like float him up the stairs uh, into the house? Or Marge can pick him up and carry. Or, or Marge, Marge would walk out and like together. scoop and lift and into the house we go. Oh, I can also Careful. lay on hands like twenty points. Careful! Oh oh wow! Damn. Ah. Mm. Uh, Mm, that was a hell of a jolt. Mm. I heard that a few times before. <sighs> Tactical flirting with the group. Um, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's old, but not that old. Um, <laughs> he knows age, which age like a it. fine wine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see all. Let me all, count them rings. Where, where, where are you going? <laughs> hey. Ma'am? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, Abe, I'll have you do this first. Okay. Um, 
you're carrying him in. Where are you going to deposit him? Um, on the bed. Probably on the 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 bed, like, because I imagine like it's not. I don't, I don't know if it's. We've never talked about it, if it's like a bed bed or if it's like. Oh. It is a bed bed. Okay. Yeah, on the bed then. Okay. Um, I need you to give me a DC twelve perception check, please. Whoa. <laughs> I don't like that already. The house it's is trapped on the inside. Dot. <laughs> well, not. Um, as you're carrying him up, you get a really good look at him and at his wounds. Um, lots of claw marks, um, some pretty deep gouges. Um, but in there, uh, several things look like snake bites. Just pairs of punctured arms, chest, neck, shoulders. Um, March would let Frostbite know what he sees. Mm-hmm. And Frostbite would come over and uh, protection from poison and healing on top of it. Okay. Um, sure enough, you start to see wounds close up. Um, <clears throat> he's and the the more healing he gets the more lucid he seems um between whatever took him what whatever took him in the swamp and falling down the damn stairs uh he was a little rattled um and he's clearly coming back to himself um as he does he kind of see his eyes start to focus um Damn, I'm going to get stains all over your fucking bed. I'm so sorry. I'm really well, not worried about that. Oh, that is okay. Jesus, that is... I know how to get blood out of things. And I thought she was the best kind of trouble. Um, what happened? Uh, vampires happened. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, we uh, didn't know about them. No, we we did absolutely, but I'm. God damn it! Mm. In in between the time that we left you yesterday evening and just now, uh, yeah, when I was walking in, uh, they got me. Mm, God, probably three hundred yards from PJ's, coming across the swamp. There are vampires in my swamp. There are vampires probably under your swamp, but yeah, they were no that one we in your about. swamp this morning. Well, that's a that's a problem. Oh, shit, you're telling me. Well, should we deal with that? I believe we should. I, I think we're going to have to. Oh. Because well. if they're at PJs, they're close to both Lashashran and Balmar. Oh, yeah, we need to. I don't want them dealing with the nice folk uh, in Lashashran specifically. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we're. I'm they glad were there in numbers. <sighs> If they haven't gone after the town yet, I think I was just an attack of opportunity. I walked through the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, Malius, when we were in the the Ordo's Temple, well, under the Ordo's Temple, or the thing that was attached to the Ordo's Temple via the, the gateway, uh, there were some Myconids down there, along with a fairy circle um, that mentioned that the vampires had been trying to come this way recently. That apparently they live on an island in a underground lake. Uh, well, that's not disturbing or anything. Uh, don't want to think we, of what the vampires would do our groundwater. Don't me why it funny. I appreciate the fact that you're able to make a joke. <laughs> See either laugh or whimper. <clears throat> Diana, can you make holy water? Can you bless water? Can you do that with ceremony? Can you do that with ceremony? Um, we, we may want to make sure our friend Malius isn't infected by whatever these vampires spread. I would hate for him to turn into one. I'm not sure how that works. All the legends are, they, they, 
and and then you <laughs> what it's worth keep the damn holy water away from me I guarantee you they can't turn me okay, thank goodness. That somebody is beat them to the punch <clears throat> Uh, excuse, you want to elaborate me? on that? Wait, wait, wait. What? You Y'all never you met can't... a lycanthrope before? Can't say I have. That's a completely different can of worms there. Uh, we don't eat worms here. No. Uh, wolf, boar, bear? Fox. Fox. You are a silver fox. I could tell right away. She knew it. Mm-hmm. She's been talking about it all night. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, mm. I have a certain aversion um, to holy water. So if you wouldn't mind. Mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, at least we know oh. that. <clears throat> at least we know that you can't be turned. Not like that. No, ma'am. Good. That's good to know. We get one, can't get the other. Well, get them both at the same time. I, I, don't, I, mm, I don't think that's how that works, Frostbite. No, it's not something I run into on a regular basis. Um. Yeah, I can't say that I do either. No. Listen, just just because I got jumped doesn't necessarily mean anybody else is gonna today. Well, of course fact, not. It's daytime. Well, yeah. kind of a point. We can safely presume that now that the sun is making its way, we and and the towns should be safe for a while, at least for the day. Do there are that? But I mean, are there days? It's it's getting colder, and the sun is not out as often. And if they are coming above ground, like there'll be a problem soon. Yeah, it is um, kind of a ripe season for them to be out and about. But, um, I think one. One horror story at a time, perhaps. Maybe, maybe we can deal with what's happening in the heart of the swamp first. I don't know what else to do besides tell the townspeople to stay inside and lock their doors at night. I mean, need extra garlic. I I say Petrus perks up with this. I can go do that. I mean, I'll stick to the roads. It's daylight. I'll be fine. Tell them. Uh, if they have any grain or seeds that they have in store for the winter, if some person is trying to ask for entry into their home, throw just a handful of seeds and, and yell, count that. That'll give them enough time to run away. Well, they just don't invite them into the house. We okay. th- There's so many stories that who even knows what's right. No. Or stay, we could stay just, the hell we indoors could, is probably... Stay, stay inside is probably... Probably yeah. safe enough. Make yeah, sure the windows and doors are locked. The usual. Yeah. Not, it's not it's, safe. After not that dark. any of them know them know me from Adam, but at wear least your fanciest go. clothes. Look important. I'm pretty sure you can manage. I'll do my best. <laughs> um, yes. That was an um. 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 Okay. Um. The cross is from the church. <laughs> yes. Um. Well, I know <clears throat> I can go with y'all. Um. Still, if you want me, I don't know how much good I'll do you, but at least maybe I can. I don't know. Point the way or something. That would be much appreciated if it isn't too taxing for you. Well. Uh, I burned most of my spell reserves fighting those sons of bitches off, but I can still walk well enough, especially now that I got a special touch. <laughs> got a little bit of where that comes from. 
uh, luckily, uh, the five of us have just woken up, so <sighs> we are fresh, hearty, and hale, and ready to onward. Yep. Onward it is, then. He will struggle to get out of bed. Um, obviously, still a bit sore. Um, y'all gather up your provisions. Uh, you don't have any coffee, do you? Coffee? Absolutely. Coffee. None for him, but yes, absolutely for you. Mm -hmm. mm. There's it. also stew from last night if you would like some. It's always better Ooh. next day. Yes, it so. is. Yes, it is. Um, he will sit down and refresh himself while you gather yourselves together. Um, Frostbite's going to try to sneak coffee. <laughs> Give me a stealth check. May I roll perception? Uh, yes, you may. Which one of these die do I not want to betray me? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 19. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> 18. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. So, so close. <laughs> Petrus didn't decaf the coffee this morning. Oh, well. That's all right. <laughs> so, do we make it out the door before you start flying in circles? Oh, you mean no, going spastic in the. <laughs> mark just suit? Like, ping, 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 inside. <laughs> right, 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 right. You're tinking. <laughs> <laughs> Frostbite would end up getting a cup of coffee and be sitting above the door on the door jam going. <laughs> <laughs> like just drinking out of a thimble. Gosh. <clears throat> and since it is only a thimble's worth, he's not going to be like, bing, 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 bing. it's not like you drank the espresso out of the full size person cup. <laughs> this time. This time, right. Yes. All right. Out into the swamp we head. Ew. Indeed. Um, as you go, you can, every hundred yards or so, um, Maylis will stop and say a little incantation um, and tap his staff on the ground a few times before he keeps going. Um, it's mile and a half, two miles of pretty heavy slog. Um, oh, for you. you... <laughs> <laughs> Is the princess on her? Uh... Of course. Okay. 100%. You can absolutely on... <laughs> see that. All the rest oh. of us are like calf deep in <laughs> murky swamp water. There's Nia. Cold murky yep. swamp water. Mm hmm hanging out back here <laughs> cruising um, cruising yes this is this is very old open <laughs> bald knee cypress swamp mm. um lucy has worked out the trick because she didn't go with petrus when he left which you have to assume she is still under orders but she has worked out the trick of <laughs> From Cypress Knee to Cypress Knee. Um, and so she never actually manages to touch the damn swamp. <laughs> um, Lucy. It's yes. right on the carpet with Nia. Oh, but this is fine. <clears throat> okay. Aoife, my socks are soggy. My dress is soggy. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I have yeah. water in my legs. <laughs> yeah, but you can just drain and dry. I don't know. Wood stays wet. That's not going to be fun. Gosh, I hope it doesn't get moldy. Ooh. I don't mold. I'll clean you all off once we get to a, a dry patch. 
Just mm-hmm. yeah, no, I'll I'll clean you off. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yes. You can always set up a campfire too, and like put your socks on like a stick that's shaped like a V to kind of dry them out. I guess. Frostbite for his head marks. Yeah, I I can catch them on fire for you. No, uh, <laughs> it'll dry, it'll dry them out real quick. Mm, I don't think that's necessary. Don't have them. That's Only because it's blisters. Marge, and I would never suggest it otherwise. But I would set you in, on fire while you're inside of them. But I would not. Well, unravel your carpet. <laughs> oh, jeez. Everybody's so sassy today. Coffee. <sighs> Don't make me stop this slog and come back there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Nikki's over here like, I feel bad for not offering. <laughs> and then he is just like, I never did. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You it's stole fine. the carpet, you get to ride it. <laughs> just just to complete the vigil, do you also have the candelabra? I mean, is this like, does it No, no, she, she does not have the cam- candelabra out. It's not dark. Uh, she, like, she, look, she already stands out. She's <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It's a little it's a little too much right now. Um so yeah. Um you're a couple miles in and it's getting knee deep. Um when you first start to notice tinges of red. It's about that time you start to see less and less animals. Um you know coming in you'd seen You'd seen. Or, whoa, oh, 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 wait. <laughs> it's like you uh, see less and less animals, but you do see a small. You do see a small, <laughs> a small child running in. Yeah, hi. Hi. Hey there, it's honey. Hey, buddy. buddy. Are you going night night? Yeah. 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 Can, you say, can you say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs> Good job. All right, who's going to get inspiration tonight? Uh, that one. You did that last time. You should pick a different person. Uh, that one. Perfect. Good job. I love you. Say love you. Say love, love, you, you. Love, love you. 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 Buddy. <laughs> Good night, buddy. Uh, Kayla. Yeah, hey. Inspiration. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yes, the t- <laughs> almost got inspiration again. Oh, all right. But you don't deserve it. I think it's the rainbows. It Nobody is. else can see Tyler, yeah. but Tyler is wearing rainbows this evening. Yes. Very he cool. is handsome as always. Looking most biffin. So, yeah. Um, it's weird to go from that back to... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fine. I had to go from cute and clean to knee deep in mm, blood so mud. Much. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yum, yum. Knee deep in blighted mud. Yeah. Mm, um, you know, when when you started out, it'd been you know typical winter stay in the swamp. You all jumped turkeys and deer and birds everywhere. And the further you get in, the less there is. Um, until there's really nothing there but the sound of y'all all sloshing through this. Um, you get to the other side of the slough and there's a little rise where it dries out. You're coming through reeds and whatnot. I need everybody to give me a, uh, a DC 15 perception check. Perception? No, that's a 13. That's a 10. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Glad somebody saw it. Yeah, 10. Okay. It's not so much a see as a hear. Um, y'all weren't the only thing sloshing through the swamp. On the other side of Cane Break, you can hear sloshing continuing. How high'd you roll? Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 25. Yeah. 
Um, this is something two-legged. Um, you can tell by the pattern of the slosh. He... <clears throat> Frostbite's voice would come out. Um, there's something on the other side of the, the two legged other side of the king break. Does it sound big? Did, did it sound person sized? Bigger yeah, than roughly. I mean, it, it, it would have sounded like it, it would have sounded like any one of you solo. Okay. Yeah, it sounds sound about like a person on the other side. So, and, and he would be whispering. Okay. Alias turns and looks at it, listens for a minute, just nods in agreement. We're not going that way yet, but we need to keep an ear out and eye open. We're going to continue this way for a little while longer, and then we're going to have to turn. I hope we don't meet up with whatever that is over there. Yes. Yeah. I know, Jar, sorry. And, 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 divine sense. What divine sense says? Divine sense. If I can read, I can sense celestial fiends undead, concent- concentrated, des- desecrated within 60 feet until the end of my next turn. Yeah, it's undead. Ooh, nifty. Um, I can't tell you exactly what it is other than it is. It's um, undead. Uh, Which, by process of elimination, two two yeah. legged in our size. Yeah, based How on how dark is it today. where we are, Justin? Is is it overcast enough to to block the sunlight in the area? And I, you wouldn't think. I mean, it's heavy clouds. You're getting into the denser part of the swamp, but it not that heavy. And okay. it would have had to have crossed through, like, wide open cypress timber. Um, Unless it was already out this far. Unless it was already out this far. That's right. Uh, uh, Where are we in relation to PJs? A long damn way away. Y'all are headed in the opposite direction. Uh, not. So, if PJs is here, and yes. we know that the mushroom circle was here. Yes. Which way was... The vampire you, castle uh, under the lake. Um, where we are. Okay, now. you are going on six miles south of that location. Okay. Um, this whole time you've been traveling uh, southwest. Um, so away from everything except I mean, okay. like, um, going deeper into the swamp. Going deeper into the swamp. Yep. Uh, which direction is it coming from uh it is coming from the west uh i will move myself to that side i want to put myself between whatever it is and the party okay okay um malius will watch each of your body languages listen to you talk notice this how you move Um, knowing that you're of the swamp, I just kind of nod and approval. We keep going. Absolutely, I think we'll just keep an extra ear out, see if we can track it. Maybe it's just tracking yeah. us, so I guess it'll make it easier. I will make sure to keep my senses open for it. Plan, and he will turn. You continue to move. The deeper you get into the swamp, the denser and denser and denser it becomes. That uh, what was just a cane break starts to circle and become everything. And so you're working through cane and reeds, and it's impossible to pass quietly. Um, you get into a, another slough. Um, this one darker, redder than the one before. And once you finally sloshed through it, the whole time, you can hear whatever that is 
moving alongside you. As you come up to the next dry spot, the uh, the cypress start to give way a little bit um, to an understory of willow trees. And amongst them, you can see little floating motes of light. They're sparkling. It's almost like there's a path opened up for you. Malius just keeps right on walking. I uh, don't think I really need to say this out loud, but please do not wander off. Don't follow the lights. Mm. They are awfully shiny. It goes on like this for a while, twisting and turning. After a while, you're not exactly sure which direction you're facing. Been a little maze. I'm gonna need one more perception check from everybody, please. DC 18. Oh no. Oh, oh I got it that time. <laughs> On the nose. <laughs> 24. Oh, oh dear. Am wisdom based and wise. <laughs> 15. 15. Okay. Um, for those of you who made the check, you start to notice the ground isn't as smooth as it was before. There's more growing up. Um, grasses, reed sprouts, the occasional vine. And the further you go, the thicker that is. Not enough yet. Um, to make it difficult to walk but uh, it's definitely getting brushier um, I need everyone to roll initiative please oh mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> fine yes <laughs> nine I don't want 15. to <laughs> Nine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, well, who was my second Four. nine? Four. Okay. Uh, yeah, me and uh, Mia. Yep. Um, damn, don't March nor Frostbite want this fight, do they? <laughs> uh, uh, um. Uh, Diana. Fifteen. What, what's oh. real funny is is they both got a four because I rolled a one and a three. <laughs> and, wow. and Marge has a plus one and Frostbite has a plus three. So. Nice. Nice. Um, between, between Mia and Aoife, who's got the higher uh, higher decks? Plus two. Oh, I'm plus one. So. Okay. All right. I actually wrote them down in the right order. Um... It's yeah, because it's not long after you notice the overgrowth getting thicker that it starts to reach up and tangle you and grab no. at your legs. No, 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 no. And that, my friends, is where we're going to break. Okay. This is fine. This is I fine. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs>
Just in time for combat to break out. Yep. So, as we left our party. Producer, cue the fight music. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. Dang. There we go. Um, What's the producer produce? Jesus. Hang on. <laughs> and do his job. Say it once. Um, so, yeah, as we left our party, um, you were starting to be entangled by roots and vines. Mm. Um. How about no? How about no? How about no? <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but as it turns out, <laughs> it's one of those things we DM do. Um, no. <laughs> and as it turns out, it is the Roots and Vines turn. No. Um, yep, they start the initiative order. Um, and so. Um. I'm going to make the wild guess that a 19 meets uh, March. Excuse me. Uh, Marge? Yes. Uh, yes, it meets. Okay. Um, how about a 15 for Ethan? No. 15 does not. Okay. No. Um, and we are just going to go with the presumably safe assumption that a 3 does not meet for Diana. It is a reasonably safe <laughs> assumption. <laughs> um, let us see. Uh, Marge, I am going to need a uh, strength saving throw. Wait, nope, nope, I'm bad. Not yet. Uh, that's next turn. Um, that would be eight points of damage as you are being squeezed mightily by these uh, these roots. Um, since you're the one getting squeezed, do you want to give me a perception check? Sure. Uh, 28. Uh, you, you are positive with nigh religious certainty, um, that these are the roots of the willow trees around you. Um, Yep, uh, this brings us to Lucy, oh, who simply disappears. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you say disappears, as in like she disappears or like poofs and goes somewhere else? I, poof, you don't know where she went. Neat. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> Diana. Um, the roots at your feet are attacking you and your party members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my initial reaction is to start cutting the roots. Very good. Um, swing that sword, friend. I'm swinging. That's a natural one. I ain't hitting jack shit. Oh, um, <clears throat> yeah, well, about that sword. Um, oh, no. yeah. Um, a vine manages to tangle around it um, and start to pull it away from you. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that next turn. Okay. <laughs> I had to whack the weed and the weed whack back. I had to, had to whack the <laughs> weed and the weed whack back. Um, from behind you, um, you hear a guttural groan. And for those of you who turn around to see what's come behind you, um, something roughly human sized and undead steps out of the willows. Um, it looks like it's probably been living under the swamp for quite some time. It's covered in moss 
and leaves and mud. It was maybe human once, um, but that was a long, long, long time ago. Um, marching order. Who's who was in the back? That's probably Nia. That's that's right. no yeah. Nia. You wouldn't have been in the back. It, it would have I mean, been, it, like, it's not always been, all the it's way always in been the back. Merger. It would have it, Marger Diana has always been at front or back. Oh, okay, and yeah, the, never mind. You two in the middle. I'm going to give this one to uh, Diana, assuming the druid and the druid would have stayed close together. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, Diana, I am going to need a strength saving throw. DC 16, please. It's really strong. I don't like that. 18. 18. Nice. This thing manages to be close enough to you when it comes out of the willows to get a hold of you. And you feel it start to tug you as the ground beneath your feet gets softer. No. But it's strong enough to, uh, you're strong enough to, to shake it off. Um, those muddy hands don't get a good grip on that nice shiny armor of yours. Um, yeah. And I thought wet socks was the most of my problems. <laughs> Ah, uh, that brings us to Mia. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Um, mm, yeah. Okay. Um, Nia is going to look at the um, thing that is holding um, Diana. The uh, muck monster, whatever, mm-hmm. um, and uh, just darling, you need a bath. And uh, she cast vicious mockery on it. Nice. Uh, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, wisdom is not this thing's strong suit. I oh, thank God. Uh, uh, I'm going to guess that a ten doesn't beat your spell save DC. It does not. Um, okay. It's going to take two. Oh my God! I can go thing. Th- only three points of psychic damage, but it has disadvantage. On its next attack roll. Very good. Very good. Um, and as a bonus action, um, yeah, uh, Nia, <laughs> Nia flies flies over Diana on there <laughs> on Bugbear, uh, and <laughs> she she like like taps her taps her on the shoulder and she says, please do not get dragged down in the mud by a muck monster that is unbecoming of a lady. Also, if you need to get up on Bugbear, please do so. And she's giving you bardic inspiration. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> That's my turn. Oh. Making notes. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Let it be known that Nia is is hovering uh, close enough to Diana for uh, Diana, or possibly the muck monster, to grab the flying carpet. <laughs> oh, you're giving the DM ideas now. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Take them. <laughs> um. That would bring us to Eva. Hmm. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead with Eldritch Blast. Surprising nobody. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. What you aiming for? Uh, the Muck Monster. That 
is a big old 25. 25. Nice. Yeah, rolling high when it counts, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roll that damage. Okay. 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 Uh, right. D10. I feel like it's been so long. I'm like, what does a D10 even look like anymore? But no, really. There it is. <laughs> Uh, 11. 11. Uh, all right. Um, M got smacked good. Okay. Uh, any bonus action? Uh, no, unfortunately. Okay. okay. Um, that would bring us to Malius. Um, Malius makes a rather strange guttural noise. Um, and then reaches to whack uh, at the vines with his uh, his quarter staff, uh, the end of which lights up as he does. Um, you don't know exactly what he did, but whatever the hell it was, uh, those vines didn't like it one damn bit. Um, so. All right, and they start to recede from his feet. Um, this brings us to Marge. Cool. Uh, Marge is going to try to pull away from these vines. Okay. Well, how would you like me to do that? Uh, it's a strength check. Strength check. Mm -hmm. Uh, bonus action rage. Because yes. Fuck it. <laughs> yes. Yep. That hurt. Uh, that is a 18 plus. Anything more than two, you're fine. Twenty-four. Uh, yep, you break free. Okay. Will that be his action? Uh, yeah, that's an action. Okay. Uh, his movement mm -hmm. is he's gonna get up in the muck monster's face. Okay. And then you're going to see. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Um. Frostbite is going to, uh, that is a bonus action. Did we ever decide what the Frostbite's going to use his movement to open the panel? Yeah. And pop out. Okay. Um, so that he is also right there in front of the mm -hmm. thing. And as a bonus action, he is going to cast Flame Blade. Nice. And attempt to whack the ghoul or the, the, the muck monster. Yes. Get it. For those of you who have been in, mine, in, in Minecraft with me for the last couple of weeks, this thing is officially called a drowned. Ah, uh, neato. <laughs> mm. Nifty. That is its real name from the. Yeah, I just like I saw it. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, that shit's happening. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. They suck. I don't like them. <laughs> These aren't much better. Neat. A melee spell attack. Cool. Is that 19 to hit? Oh, yes. Yeah. You are looking for an 11 to hit this thing. It's not like it's <laughs> hitting. It's not the hard well, part. Well, we're, we're going to dry it out. Oh. It's going to take. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of fire damage. Oof. Yeah, buddy. Excuse me. All right. You sure enough did dry it out. It's still there, but uh, it's... Uh, also, uh, there's now a, a 10-foot radius of bright light around, around it? this thing. Damn, okay. <laughs> because the flaming blade sheds bright light in a 10-foot radius and dim light in an additional 10-foot. So Lovely. we just lit up the swamp. The trees audibly hiss at you. Don't like that part so much. Yeah. Frostbite's going to turn and look at him and go, you're next. I've got a whole <laughs> spear with your name on it. <laughs> Damn. Um, whew. Uh, there we go. Um, so as you are turning to sass the trees... Um, you catch movement out of the corner of your eye. Something you don't really get a really good look at, 
grabs Malleus from behind and he sinks into the swamp. You just hear the as the mud closes up around him. No. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think I've just been canceled by one of my players. I refuse. I'm don't, sorry. Don't like that. Um, yeah, these things know some neat tricks. Nifty. Um, and speaking of, I am going to need, uh, get back. I have too many tabs. Um, hello, space cat. Oh. Um, that, oh, that's that. Uh, I have got a sixteen on Eva. Oh, fuck. A fifteen on Diana, and an eighteen on Nia. Oof. Mrs. Okay. Diana. Mrs. Diana. Okay. It just it just shot up in the air to attack me. Okay. Uh it's a tree. You're hovering it uh, <laughs> roughly <Yeah>. at height. <laughs> You yeah, said you were at height. It's not that high. Uh, no, I know. Yeah. Uh, if yeah, that eighteen definitely hits me. Okay. Yeah, it, it, and it meets for Ethan. Okay. Um, Whomping willow. Whomping willow. Um. Um. Uh. So. Yeah. Oh no. I'm sorry. Please continue. Sorry. Yeah. Um. That is. What? Wait. 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 Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh. The the one that hit Ifa. Yes. Uh. Whoa. Uh, take four off. So it misses. Yeah, it's 12. It misses. Yeah. Hey. Okay. You never get to do anything cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. I can let it no, hit you. I mean, no, if you want the 12 damage, that's fine. No. Um. <laughs> might not. Might not. It's all good. <laughs> um. I'll save it for later. It's fine. Um. Uh, you know what? We'll keep the twelve damage because that's higher, and I'm not going to do that to you. Um, Nia, that's twelve. Um, and I am going to need a DC fourteen dexterity save, please. Uh. I have a I have a plus six. I needed to roll at least an eight. I got a nine. That's a okay, fifteen. Very well. good. Um, the trees are very clearly trying to drag you off of Bugbear. Um, Fuck you. But, Not you, Justin. Sorry, the trees. Yeah, yep. um, they 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 managed to smack you pretty good, and it's not really comfortable getting squeezed. But. Uh, you managed to not, not a good squeeze. Um, this is this is bad touch. Um, you managed you managed to slip away um, <clears throat> from somewhere in the midst of the swamp. Um, you hear Lucy barking and growling, um, and there is motion among the uh, the leaves. Um, Diana. Now would be a good time to try to get your sword back. Uh, let's call it uh, same as uh, what Nia just had to deal with. Let's call it a DC 16 to get you, see if you get your sword back. Make it count. That is a natural 19. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes, you do. 22. All right. Oh, yes. So take your action. Do the thing. Cool. I'm going to whack it. Yep. Which, which it are you whacking? The thing is... Um, on the tree, the, right. the the tree, or the um, or the drowned. I'm gonna go for the drowned first, and I'm gonna use my my reroll. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's twenty three to hit. Yeah, you hit him. <laughs> you were only looking for an eleven. <laughs> I gotta go the extra mile because I only did seven damage. <gasps> I'm, st- I'm still standing, but barely. Um, the damn shame of it is, 
he wasn't alone. Um, yeah. So, back where you saw Malius disappear, um, another one rises up out of the muck. Another one. And next to it, something that looks like an ambulatory tree. Um, tree end. It's fine. <sighs> this is fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's great. Okay, refund. Um, this adventure. <laughs> Uh, Nia, it is your turn. Great. Wonderful. Um, I do not like what just came out of the ground, and I don't like his friend. Um, so, uh, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the or should I keep hitting the one in front of Diana? We should get rid of the one in front of Diana. Let's get rid of the one. Okay. Um, so if you manage to hit it, you're, you to hit it, you're probably going to kill it. Great. It's looking uh, rough. Uh, well, make it make another wisdom saving throw. DC sure. 16. And she's like, you need to take a jerk nap, sweetie. Yeah, that's a 12. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me roll it on here instead. Yeah, five points of psychic damage. Yeah, um, it grabs its head and makes this strangled guttural noise and just collapses into the mud. Gross. Um, <laughs> Gross. <laughs> which had been getting steadily softer, so it kind of... Yeah. Um, and is more or less engulfed. You can still see like the topography of it, but that's about it. Neat. Um, and for those of you who are standing near it, um, as soon as it goes down, you start to feel the earth under your feet firm up again. Oh, good. Um, not that Nia would notice she's still on the carpet. But, <laughs> um, but uh, Frostbite is now officially out of uh, Marge. Um, yes. And attacking with a, a, a shiny blade thingy. Um, she's a flaming scimitar. It looks, looks like. rad. Uh, Nia, literally, he's just like, Frosty got some heat on him. And she gives you a bardic inspiration. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, you know what? Uh, Nia, how far are we going to have to be for this? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nia goes further up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> She moves away from the trees. <laughs> she says, I'm Audi, but I can still see you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm here if you need me, but I'm like over here. Or over here. If over you need here. me. Don't worry. Like <laughs> I still got you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> does sorry. a 16 meet your armor glass? Yes, it does. Wow. <laughs> You ain't going too far, apparently. I say, I mean, attacks of opportunity are a thing. Oh, totally. Um, uh, yeah, um, nope. Yep. Um, so, uh, that is going to be a whopping four points of damage. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and I need you to make that uh, DC 14 deck save again, please. Yay, grapple check. Hmm? Uh, 24. Oh, nice. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I'm yes. like, nope, 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 yep, nope. Yep, yep. They, they, <laughs> you, you may as well be greased. They just slide right off you. <laughs> I uh, have the oil of slipperiness. That's right, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving these high rolls when it counts. Y'all are yep, yes. yep, yep, yep. All right. Astro glide for the win. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and, uh, oop. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh. So, um, uh, Aoife, it's your turn. Uh, how close are these other two who just popped up the other drowned and the ambulatory tree? Uh, they are about 15 feet off. Nifty. I would like to cast Moonbeam on them. Do the thing. 
That's 24. Oh, they yes. Make, they make a constitution save. Is that right? Yeah, That's Moonbeam, correct. they have Const- to make a save. Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, what's your spell save, DC? 14. 14. Okay. Well, one thing that you weren't even aiming at makes it. Um, Nifty. Uh, yeah, the, yes. the, the range is 120 feet. So uh, wait a minute. Everything in a 120 foot circle? Sorry, 120 feet, five feet. Oh, okay. 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 So sorry. But yeah. tall. Um, within a hundred tall, but okay, not very wide. Tall. All right. Um, Mine is level three. It's 120 feet. Okay. Oh. Uh, that is a 19 on the dice. <sighs> and a Five, and let's be clear that the thing has a plus four modifier. <laughs> D. Okay. Um, okay. So what? Ha- so what happens to the ambulatory tree thing? I don't know. Uh, that one is going to take a total of forty ten. Oh uh, Jesus! Damage. The others will take half as much. If a shape changer. Makes it saving throw with a disadvantage. No, nobody, sh- nobody's shape changing here. Okay. Um, they all are who they are. He's under the ground. That's it. Um, yeah, nothing exciting. They just take damage. Okay. Um, but I can concentrate and hold it for up to a minute. Okay. Oh, good damage. Uh, Twenty six. Ooh, damn. So half uh, of that is 13. Okay. Uh, you cook a few limbs off of this tree thing. It's vaguely humanoid, but like plant parts are just falling the hell off of it. Um, let's see. That puts him... I can math. Really, I can. And he is there. Okay. Um... That brings us to Malius, who we haven't seen in a minute. And we're not going to see now. Uh, Marge, Frostbite, this is y'all. Cool. Um, so we've got the, the, the drown that was in front of me is gone. There's the new drowned and the tree thing. And then there's the trees. Right. Cool. So, uh, Mark is going to charge the tree thing that appeared. Yes. Uh, and whack hell out of it twice. Okay. Uh, the the first uh, reckless. Okay. Um, that is a 17 to hit. Uh, yeah, you're looking for 13. Okay. Uh, that is six points of damage. Okay. And the second attack is a 21. It hits. Uh, yes, it is. For 11 points of damage. Describe to me exactly how, what happens to this tree being when you beat the living shit out of it. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's Marge basically just runs up to it and as he's going, he closes the chest panel. <laughs> and uh, the first hit, he comes down this away mm-hmm. and like cracks it with the root ball. And then the second, he follows up and just uppercuts it so that it flies back. And Nice. Wait, we're allowing tree v tree now? Yes. Just go. Just, just, just go. <laughs> Thing is, if she leaves, Liz, she's gonna walk into your room. Yeah, it's not like I it's know, far. I know. <laughs> Tree was barking up the um, wrong warforge. Oh. 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 oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> oh the I producer the says everyone damn. get out, Did please. Y'all Thank me? you. <laughs> I, I expect better from the both of you. Oh god, I guess <laughs> really I close, do you? Do I you? can close that tab. I'm also the one who had yes. the fungi joke. So you are the yeah, that's right. You are the origin of the fungi jokes. 
for um, so <clears throat> frostbite mm -hmm. is uh, going to look at the just, just just a note um as marge was running toward this thing um the closer you got the softer the ground got and you started to feel like Marge started to feel himself sinking as he was going. Um, Frostbite's going to turn and look at the willow trees and he's going to cross his arms and go, you can stop or I'm going to burn this entire place to the ground as he cast flaming sphere between the two closest trees. Okay. Uh, Ooh, what's, the, what's the, yeah, what's the, What's apart from yeah, apart from the intimidation roll? Um, what, uh, what 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 do we do here? Is this an attack? Is this a save? I mean, they're trees. That's um, not like they have dexterity. Oh, so, uh, oops! They they would need to make a deck saving throw. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go splendidly. Uh, uh, where the hell is that tab that I'm going to have to close? You know the thing about trees, how they're like rooted to the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as it turns out. Uh, <laughs> Did not think this one. Right, wait. So, so good question. Are there are are they close enough together that I could get two of them with the five foot diameter spear between them? Or am well, I just going to bully one I tree? I mean, they're they're willow trees. So, I mean, yes, they're going to be like their trunks aren't together. Um, right. but yes, but I'm they assuming are. some of some of their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Cool. Like um, catching someone's hair on fire when they get too close to the birthday candles. Yep. 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 Um, yeah, just like that. So that is a <laughs> 12. Uh, they fail. Okay. Uh, they're going to take nine points of fire damage. Uh, to which they and, are vulnerable. Yes. And uh -huh. um, anything that is not worn or carried uh, catches on fire. Uh, so I don't know how you want to do that since they are trees. Uh huh. Um, I'm having to math over here. What was that total damage again? Nine. Nine. Thank you. Uh, which is actually eighteen. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, cool. You are now doing combat with flaming willow trees. Um, N nifty. Yeah. Super neat. They they yeah. are they are as you say on fire. Um, great. And then Frostbite would use yes. his, uh, his 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 bonus action. Yes. To bamf thirty foot away from the willow trees. In what direction? Back the way we came. I'm guessing. Okay. I I had to ask. Um, yeah, like it, without knowing how. Are the willow trees like in a circle? Or are they in a half moon? No, I mean you, you've been going down a path and just got ambushed. Um, yeah. So you'd be thirty feet back down the path the way you came. Oh, wait, better yet, he would bounce onto uh, bugbear. So he's sitting on the edge <laughs> of bugbear. Perfect. <laughs> um. That brings us to the dead thing. I can mark that the hell off. We never got to see the cool thing it could do. Um, Good. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. Tell us about it later. In <laughs> unison. That's fantastic. Yep. Um, this tree is on fire. Which actually brings us back around to the trees. God. Oh. Um, and me. there are only two people on the ground. Um. Oh, that's right. Mar Marge didn't. Frostbite, Frostbite did. did. Frostbite. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to put these in the order you are on my screen. Uh, I'm going to guess that a five does not hit Marge. No. Um, a 19 is going to hit Aoife. Yes. And Whoa. a six. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> How many times Whoa. can you do this? Seriously. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying no, but uh, like how many times? For real. Uh, features and traits. Um, one, two, three, four, five per long wrist. Shit. Okay. Holy buckets. You, do, you, could also five give, off. you could also give one to Kayla. I'm just saying. Like, maybe Diana needs it too. 
Maybe he's 18. The six isn't going to. Oh, all right. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. She's also more sturdy than you are. <laughs> um, so how much does that take off? Five. Okay. Oh, uh, which was four last 14. time. I, I roll a d6. Oh, I see. I see. Got it. Okay. Understood. Yep. So that brings us to 14. Wait. No, I'm sorry. It does not either. My bad. I didn't give this thing its bonus. Uh, with, <laughs> with, with, with a bonus, that was a 23. Oh. So, uh, well then. Sorry, you can you cannot burn it if you want. I, I, that was that okay. was completely my bad. I, I will not burn it then. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry about that. I for, I went to look at damage and I'm like, oh wait, that thing is supposed to get a bonus to hit. Um. So. Here you uh, want to get hit? Get hit. I rolled. I rolled minimal damage. Oh goody. Okay. Um. So. Ninety eight. Congrats to getting <laughs> four damage. Plus, we're going to add a d6 because it's on fire. Okay. <laughs> and I rolled a one. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I am going to cast Hellish Rebuke. As more, a, fire. Um, more fire. Let more fire. More fire. Fighting fire with fire. That's so right. If, if Literally. Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, as, as my reaction, I'm going to cast Hellish Rebuke. Uh, Look, we're just trying to make a burn break. <laughs> You're succeeding. You know how they like do like the four like controlled fire burn like yeah. Yeah. burn yeah yeah burn burn good for the environment yeah oh. <clears throat> yeah that's I'm sure that's exactly what you're thinking. It's good for the environment to burn this one. Twenty four. Uh, twenty four damage. No, twenty four to hit. Oh hell yes, it hits. <laughs> okay. Um, three. None of these things were hard to hit. It was twelve you were looking for. Nineteen damage. Nineteen. Oh, damn, girl. Um. So but that's it for my third level spells. So don't get super uh, excited, don't guys. Get super excited. We're all at cantrips after this. Um. <laughs> just for the record, um, there are three trees currently on fire. One of which has been whaled on before. Are you aiming for one of the ones that was previously whaled on? It is specifically whichever thing hit me. Very good. In which case, um. What does Hellish Rebuke look like when Aoife does this? That's a great question. This is actually the first time we've done it. So, uh, green flames surround the creature. Nice. So, one of these already on fire trees. Um, for the barest moment, all the flames turn green, and it's simply reduced to a heap of ash. That's nice. It's always nice when that works out. I like that. It does. Good kill shot. Um. Hey, sir. Yes. The two that ended their turn still within the five foot area of uh, the flaming sphere. Yes. Need to make a deck save. Okay. Um. That is. A... You're looking for a sixteen. Well, that meets then because it was 19 on the dice minus three. Okay. So they'll um, take half. Okay. See, seeing their uh, their compatriot reduced to ash, the, the bowels kind of go and try to scoot out of the damn way. How much? Four. Four points of damage? Four. Okay. All right. Um, In the break between the trees, y'all can see Lucy now. Um, She had bamped to behind the trees. Um, And finally manages to get a hold of a root. Oh, gosh. Um, Sweet bean. She's doing her best. Bless her. She is doing her best. And she is gnawing on that damn root like there's no tomorrow. (laughs) Um, Um. uh, brings us to Muckman. Where is the tab for my drowned? I have too much crap open. Hmm. It sounds uh, like one of our friends. It does, in fact. Um, 
And I seem to remember that Marge was close. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's going to miss, but I still need you to make a DC 16 saving throw as the water around you basic or the ground around you basically liquefies. Um, you're going to need to get out of there. So if you can make me a DC 16 strength, please. Cool. I get to do that at Vantage because I'm raging. Yes, you do. Uh, that's an at 20. Yes. Nice. So, uh, so 26. So does Marge moonwalk out of this muck? <laughs> what's, what's, what's the play here? Nice. Is he doing the running man as he goes? <laughs> Slide to the left. Oh my god! (laughs) Um, Since I'm assuming he was already like starting to sink, I see him just kind of squat and jump and land like nice far enough back to be on solid ground. (laughs) Nice. March does not miss uh, like that. (laughs) Um, I like it. Uh, Diana, you are up, my friend. So the muck creature that was with me done, correct? Yep. Yes, you've got one dead. Yeah, you you've got one muck thing still living and two flaming trees. Cool. I want to go to the. I want to grab one of the roots to the flaming trees. Okay, grab a root. I want to cast inflict wounds. Okay. Yes. Ooh. What's yes. what's what's the? Is that an attack? Is that a save? Mm-hmm. What is that? Spell attack. Okay. Can I use my Ollie Inspiration reroll? Of course you can. You also have a Bardic Inspiration. <coughs> yeah, that wasn't going to help a natural one. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not going to help a natural two either. Oh, oh no. no. Bye, yeah. dice. You're going bye-bye for today. Oh, it in dice, Um, I'm sorry. Any bonus action? Diana? No? no? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's not fun. It's, um, it's too slippery. I can't grab a hold of it. Can't grab it right now. It's, it's got too much mud on it. I don't like mud. Um, I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> you were told to be ladylike. Um, it's part of your whole bardic inspiration thing. There. <laughs> and then I left you. <laughs> and then you left you. <laughs> um... Do, 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 do. Uh, we're just going to go with the assumption that a two isn't going to hit uh, anybody. Anybody. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> screw that. Uh, Nia. Great. Wonderful. Um, so we have a drowned and a tree in uh, an ambient tree in the moonbeam still. Yes. Okay. And then we have the two trees that are on fire. Well, I guess that does hellish review no, 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 count no. as we've cheap? got we've got a, a drowned in two drowned trees. That's two it. flaming trees. Oh, okay. Yeah. But does hellish rebuke break my concentration? Because if no. it's casting another spell, I don't. No, 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 no. Then nope. if they already let me take a look at it just in case. I'll make sure we're doing this right. Bah, bah, bah. If they start their turn there, they take two, two d10 radiant damage. Okay, so, so. Uh, yeah, so they started their turn there, so we need to do that before. I missed that. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Cool. Solid. Uh, and what kind of Thir- uh, thirteen? Sorry. 13. thirteen. What kind? What kind of damage is that? Radiant damage. Radiant. Okay. Not, not looking good, but still standing. Uh, great. The uh, drowned that is still up. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and have him make me a wisdom saving throw, please. The first time I have ever rolled a nat 20 on this dice. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> 
You, you can ask Preston for the apology because this is the first time this desk has ever. No, 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 it's funny. <laughs> it's just like I. I... <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I, say yeah, I say you are up there like above the fire. So there's like now smoke coming in. I can, yeah. I can, I can almost imagine Nia starting to. Uh, I, <laughs> <damn it. laughs> um, and so, yeah, that doesn't work. Um, let's see. Uh, and as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Um. All y'all, including Lucy, um, uh, Nia turns, gets a little more serenity, full green hair, scales, um, and she's <laughs> burning this motherfucker to the ground as she casts Mental Inspiration. Um, everybody gets eight temporary hit points, and you can all now use your reaction to move without uh, provoking attack of opportunity. Nice. nice. I love mantle of inspiration. It's great. It is. That's a good spell. It's, oh, it's not a spell. It's like a it's like a, a, bar, a bar trait. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, Eva, you're up. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to do anything that's going to take away from uh, my concentration on moonbeam. Okay. Um, as long as it's just a spell that is one action or less, you can cast it without breaking concentration. Yeah, so long as it's not another concentration spell, you can do it. Okay. So you can pew pew if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Eldritch Blast is going to be the go to from Eldritch Blast. Because... Yep. <laughs> so. Because we're luck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we still have one of the drowned up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Yep. That will be the target then. Okay. 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 Womp womp. No, that's How a, bad? It's a nine. So it's, it's not terrible, but it's... it's okay. uh, that's nine with all your bonuses? Yeah. Yeah, I rolled a three. Oh, oh, damn. But say it's only a, only a 11 AC, but again, in that, in that cloud of, in that cloud of smoke, um, this already dark colored thing in a dark yeah. swamp. Yeah, it's getting Just hard to see in here. Getting hard to see. Don't you have uh, two bolts? Uh, yeah, but they come off of the same roll. Oh, okay. Uh, that was something Jason did for Westlands. I know another DM should do that as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what the hell? Roll the second one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he likes us or something. I didn't mean, I, didn't mean to, I wasn't calling you out, Justin. <laughs> Thirteen. All right, that one hits, damn it. Do that some damage. Hits. All right. <laughs> Kill the thing. <laughs> two. Uh, two. Two is two. Is two. Away. <laughs> two, two is two. It's definitely something, but it's not, you know, say, better it's not than a ten. That one. I say the, 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 the smoke doesn't stop you from hearing the. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, That's good. That's <laughs> good. It gets plonked. Um, ah, Malius is fucked. Um, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what rolling. happens when you stay underneath the wait, swamp water for wait. too long, or you turn out like Aoife. <laughs> Who knows? Can I can I give Malius my inspiration to see if he can unfuck himself? <laughs> I, I mean, Phrasing. I've been rolling it the whole time, and that was a two. <laughs> can I roll it for Malius since it's my inspiration? Oh my gosh! Uh, let my let let this happen. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Um, I mean, NPC is going to NPC. That's what they're for. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just laughed because the last time this tried to happen, we didn't let it happen. I know. I, I know. I, I, I get you. Um, uh, shit. I lost where I was. Although, funny enough, it's Marge's turn. <laughs> I'm standing where Malius was, correct? Uh, within a few feet. Yep. Um, Marge is going to knock the shit out of the drowned. So okay. I, uh, first one reckless. Uh huh. Um, that hits. That's nineteen plus seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of damage. You don't have to hit it again. Of damage. <laughs> okay. Unless you really want to. I'm gonna say if you wanna, if you want to be what's left of this thing's corpse, you're fine. But no, no, Mar- uh, Fr- frostbite is just or Marge is going to like swing away for the head. <laughs> okay. You, you you effectively played yeah, drowned yeah. baseball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or T ball in this case, and, I guess. And then <laughs> using um oh my, my my second bamf for the oh. day. I'm going to bamf to Marge. Okay. Um so that puts me in range and then using my my give me slot. Uh-huh. I'm going to cast uh, Earth. I, w- I want to use Earth Trimmer to see if I can cause the soil to roll, okay. pulling anything that's in it out of it. Okay. Nifty. <laughs> I, I, um, plus one for creative spell use. Yep. Yep. Creativity. Um, yep. I love uh, it. Or Earth Trimmer does no damage. It, ba- right. it basically says you cause a tremor in the ground within range. Each creature other than you in there must make a deck save throw. Well, it takes a D6 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And it's not prone. So, but I'm basically wanting to use it deeper and cause it to roll up. Spit spit Malleus out. Yes. Um. I like it, but we're going to leave it to chance. Even or odd? Oh, shoot. Odd. 91. Um, yep. And just like that, um, the earth royals and a soggy, dirty, beaten to shit ass old druid. <laughs> Sprouts like a plant, <laughs> just and falls over. Jesus God. Hey, look! Hey, look! I I, I grew a, a, a lycanthrope. <laughs> um, and as, oh. as my bonus action, I'm going to move the five foot flaming spear directly onto one of the willow trees. Hey. Um, do we roll? Uh, I mean. I, I don't give a damn that it has a dex. The, if you moved the flaming flaming spear on it, you can't get him to walk off. Um, yeah. Do we do fresh damage, or does damage just start over again at uh, its turn? Uh, I must make the saving throw against the sphere's damage. Okay, so it would it would make it again. Uh, consider it failed. It's freaking dream. Um, uh, Ten points of damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, these trees don't have a hell of a lot left in them. Uh, although it is their turn, and by God, they are gonna try. Um. But they managed to do crap all. Um. That is an eight, a four, and a nine. Um, yeah, I got my one good roll for tonight. Damn it, that's all I'm gonna get. Uh, which brings us to Lucy. Yep, Lucy is still just worrying the hell away at that one tree. Um, um Bless her. yep. Uh, drowned us out. Uh, Diana, you are up, friend. I still want to try to grab the root. Do it. <laughs> I got a different d20 this time. So let's see. That's a natural 19. Nice. So it. That's 26. Yep. That is Inflict 3d10. Yeah. Get, Get it. 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 Uh, 22 points of damage. Ooh. Necrotic damage. Yes. Oof. So what does it look like more. when you inflict wounds a tree to death? Um, It starts with decay at my touch and just seeps up the nice. root system into the tree. Nice. 
very good. Um, the fires go out with its life, and that leaves us one. Nia, you have remaining one flaming tree. One flaming tree. Let's see what we can do to this one flaming tree. Uh. Uh, I don't think it's true. I don't. I don't think if I did anything that it could, it could hear, it, anything could happen. I don't think. It, I don't think it'd hear me, right? Uh, yeah. It 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 doesn't understand languages. It has. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, Nia uh, flies down to Malius. <laughs> poor, poor Malius. Um, and she is going to uh, heal him. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna give him a, a 2d8. <laughs> uh, Malius takes uh, 13 healing. Nice. So then it comes down and just like pats him on the face. Just like, you poor, you poor man. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, Thank you. So sweet. She Uh, tries. She tries. Oh, uh, and then uh, looks up at um, Diana and saw what she did to the, I know she still has her bardic inspiration. Who doesn't have one? Aoife. Aoife doesn't have one. Um, Aoife. Keep. Keep being the swamp witch that I know you are. Take a take a bar, uh, bardic inspiration. <laughs> Notably, got her name right this time. Didn't call her Alfie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did, what? No. Dire, dire straits here. Dire straits. That's, that's how you know it's really serious. She yeah. actually calls you by your name. Yeah. Ah, uh, and it's Alfie's turn. So. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Uh, I am going to drop Moonbeam mostly because I don't want to accidentally hurt uh, Milius with it. Uh, do we still have a flaming tree? We oh, have one flaming tree. One flaming tree. Okay. Well, I guess we'll cast Ultra Blast at that. Mm-hmm. I guess. Gonna blow an owl hole in that tree. <laughs> Uh, 16, yes, hits. Uh, 30 damage. I rolled three tens. <laughs> wow. We're making it, we're making those rolls when it counts, friends. So when you pew pew a flaming tree to death. Does it just oh, wait, blow up? Nope. I mean, is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I was thinking like, um, you know, kind of like, it hits it. Doesn't really seem like it does any damage, but then it's like, it boils the sap and explodes. Nice. Just... Ooh. Yes. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Well, well, well. Probably um, should watch out for some collateral damage. I must say, there's it's yeah, fine. there's there's. Tree sap, tree sap everywhere now, and ashes. Ashes. <laughs> like, yeah. oh. oh, God. Oh. I didn't think that through, but... Um... I'm sorry for complaining about my soggy socks earlier. <laughs> this is worse. Okay. Well, there's enough around here to dry that you could probably set something else on fire to dry your socks with. <laughs> I, I can roll the ball closer if you want. Um. <laughs> We're on relatively dry ground at the moment, right? Like a, like yeah. a higher point where there. Yep. Okay. Is yep. it clear? Uh, it's a hell of a lot clearer now. Okay. Um, it's I mean, it's you, solid ground again. I say you 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 were on a path on relatively solid ground, and y'all just blew a fairly wide hole. Okay. Um, in this stand of willow trees. So yeah, you've got space. Um, I kind of like just want to motion everybody a little bit closer and be like, 
Let's be quiet. Because I'm I'm curious if these things operate with sound. Like if they heard us sloshing and came through because they heard mm. us as opposed to they were just here and found us. So I'm always, yep. always thinking, always thinking. Uh, so I don't know how we get to where we need to be, but however it is, I think we need to try to keep it down because I don't think we want to do this again. <laughs> Today, anyway, maybe later, but definitely not today. <laughs> yeah, I've had about enough of undead shit for a while. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. What are those? Uh, which ones? <clears throat> Both? Well, the damn thing that got me is called a tendril puppet. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was probably working for one of those drowned sons of bitches. <clears throat> huh. Hmm. Okay. My, my guess is they set up camp around these tangly willows. <laughs> the willows drag something under the water and uh, they'll all share the feast. Uh, is Lucy still gnawing on the root? Huh? Uh, yeah. Is well, she's still she, giving she, the root help. Yeah, well, she, yeah, like when the tree came apart, the root came loose, and she's just sitting there gnawing it now. Okay, God. I didn't know. I was making sure she wasn't gnawing on something else we hadn't seen yet. Oh, no, no, no. Same no, tree. Same, got it. Same tree. Just... Yes, Liz. <laughs> she's now got a stick. Hmm? Did I you call she... my name? No. Oh, okay. No, nope. I just said she's now got a stick. Um. So, how do we want to proceed? Onward, this this is the quiet. DM asking the players. <laughs> Onward, but quietly. Uh, I mean, we could all just pile on Bugbear uh, and so we don't make any noise. This is true. We go very slowly, but I think we want to go slow anyway. I don't know that I have much of a fucking choice. Yeah. Yes, um, and he will proceed to, uh, uh, if everybody is getting on top of Bugbear, just, like, clean everybody off. Just, just, just clean you all off. Mm. As we all pile right. on the carpet, I want to cast Pure Wounds at the second level. Okay. On me. Okay. I got to find the right dice. I know how this to guy heal, heal this guy. This poor, this okay. poor man. Ross Bites gonna sit, sit sit back on Marge's shoulder and start going mending, mending, Jeez. mending, <laughs> 14 points of damage to Malius. Not damage. 14 uh, points healing. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> you finish off Malius. <laughs> yeah, Bad touch. 14 Bad points touch. of healing. <laughs> oh no, I got my uh, cure wounds and my inflict wounds <laughs> mixed right? up. <laughs> this hand is for healing. This hand is for killing. <laughs> Get you a girl who could do both. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, nice. Like that. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. All right. So we are floating and we are flying, huh? Yep, indeed. Yes. Um do I want to do that? Nah, I'm good fine. What? I just like, do I want to heal myself a little bit? But I'm like, no, it's fine. I'm gonna leave. And fine. All right. Well, you're you're on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Um they're still not I mean there's still plenty of willow trees around you. Um, none of these seem to be moving, however. Um, out beyond the willow trees, you can see uh, low water oaks. Um, but the path continues. The little floaty lights continue to blink. Um, and things get steadily tighter and darker as you move further and further into the swamp. Um you start to hear again the sounds of birds which have been noticeably absent to this point um, first little finchy birds and, and uh, 
such like little little nesting birds. They're just chirping and scattering in and amongst the the dense willows as you come through. You'll occasionally hear just a little as they flutter away. Um, and then the sounds of some of the larger birds return. You can hear waiting birds off in the distance. Um, the call of a lone bird of prey somewhere way above the canopy. <laughs> then you hear little splashes. Maybe frogs, maybe otters, you're not really sure. Something hitting the water, small and fast. Then you get back to the wet. This is almost pure blood, though. There's not much of water left. And it reeks. It's got that iron smell. Um, stagnant blood that's just been there too long. Weirdly, you still hear the birds. And up ahead, you can tell that it's going to open up into a clearing. Luckily, you're not in the water, so it's not like you're making any sound. Luckily. Oh, good. Y'all just okay. flying. Are you flying ahead into the clear? Neil will, will slow Bugbear down. Do we want to announce ourselves? I think if, if there's a, a larger tree that we can kind of like edge up behind and like Sure. Peek out yep. before we um, kick the door in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're 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 mostly in uh, mostly in cypress and willows, but there's a couple of good sized water oaks that have kind of insinuated themselves in. Um, I don't know how much y'all know about the way water oaks grow, but um, oftentimes they'll have big, broad branches that reach almost down to the ground. Um, wide enough to walk up. Um, and so, yeah, you could get around or inside the canopy of one of those and kind of have a good peek in. For a moment there, that poor baby's blue collar of shame, like chromed out. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Oh, oh poor Ragnar. Poor so you want so y'all want to get in the tree or around it or what's the what what exactly do you have in mind? Bless, Bless, you. Bless you. Excuse me. People. Bless you. Um, Frosty, do you know if these trees are like the ones we just dealt with? I don't really want to get smacked by another uh, tree today. The, one, uh, the ones we fought were willows. These are oaks. <laughs> Different kind of tree. I believe she was asking if they were sentient. Or had a vendetta uh, against anything that comes close well, to it. I could talk to them if you'd like to find out. That would be wonderful. That would be great. Thank you. Brock's bite is good to speak. Can't speak with plants. Okay. To the oak trees? Yeah. What? Well, it's to with any plant within 30 foot. So. Okay. Well, you've got You've got willow trees, you've got reeds, you've got a cypress, you've got a big ass water oak, um, all so manner of bushes it, it, and shrubs. And okay, uh, I guess I'm going to start with the oak tree that we're we're considering landing on. Okay. Uh, and hello, friend tree. How are you? I am as I have always been. Which is to say, good. It's good to hear on this fine day. Uh, my friends and I were wondering if you would have a problem with this landing on you, so we could look out into the clearing that is past your bowels. Not at all. I grew these limbs wide enough to walk on. And it's fine limbs. been nigh a hundred years since someone trod in my bow. By all means. Uh, he, uh, tree, uh, do you have a name? I am simply Oak. Oh, said we could land on him and tread upon his bowels. Wonderful. Uh, Lovely. 
What a very kind and nice, not fighty tree. Oh, well said. You met the shitheads that live over there. <laughs> Uh, we we dealt with the shitheads that live over there. Is that their they will official? No more. Is that their uh, official flora name? <laughs> about time. Yes, uh, they shit, have been turned. Uh, they have been turned into the finest of ash fertilizers for the other plants in the area. Willow Miss Shithid. <laughs> <laughs> They will feed our swamp well. Uh, Oak, how long has the soil and the water near you been this odd color and and smell and taste? It started becoming richer about... Forty moons ago. Uh, I'm assuming he means forty months, so almost four years. No, he means diurnal cycles. Oh, so so forty days. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Um, and do you know if? A very, very, very large creature lives in this clearing. Oh, One who yes. would be large enough to damage to to knock you over. You mean awful, yay? <laughs> yes, I did not know if you would know its name or not. I know all of my neighbors. So good. You are a very wise tree indeed. And I would look at the party and go, yeah, uh, uh, Avoye lives in the clearing. Um, it's been blood water and land for 40 days. Well, not great, but could, not the worst about the blood and the water. Would you like me to let her know that you are here. Uh, please, and, and let her know that we mean no harm. Uh, we saw she was injured and uh, we're coming to check on her. Uh, very, very well. That yeah, no. Uh, Oak is going to let Ovaye know that we are here. Yep. Uh, and that we come in peace and mean no harm, that we were concerned about her health and well being. Love it. Love it. Everyone give me perception checks. DC 15. Again, on the nose. 15. Nice. 20. Nice. 20. Nice. 15. Very good. Um, there isn't an appreciable sound at first. But looking down, because you don't want to lose your balance on these tree limbs, you see undulations in the water. And then little wavelets in between until the water starts vibrating like this. Mm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then slowly it stops. And you hear a great creak and a splash. What do you do? I'm still on bug there. I'm just like, okay. I'm just gonna. There's not much for me to do. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> until some, until I see teeth coming at me. Uh, Eva, mm. you trust me? Of course. Walk to the end of the branch. And crossbite is going to change 
and cast speech with animals. Huh? Uh, say what you want, Avoye, to know. I will translate. <sighs> this is a creature that knows and respects you and your family for what y'all have done for the swamp. Sing another song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I wasn't prepared to make a speech. Then don't speak from the heart. This is... I'm sorry, I hate that word. Never mind. You're fine. <laughs> we came to help put things back the way they were. And to make sure that you, the great guardian of the swamp, are okay. What can we do to help? You hear back in your mind in common. At the same time, everyone else hears the words spoken in Sylvan. It's enough to know that I still have allies, Shell. How many did you bring? There are six of us. Seven. Your voice. Your voice sounds familiar. I don't think I heard you saying. Yes. You have a very pretty voice. I've heard it many times before. Not with my own ears, of course. But the birds, the otters, my little brothers and sisters, you call Gator. I can hear through them, for they are all part of me. And you, you are a thing of the swamp, though I cannot hear through your eyes and ears. Cannot see through your eyes, nor hear through your ears. But. I'm sorry you had to see me like that the other day. Not the way I like to make an entrance. Well, sometimes we have choices made for us. That Unfortunately, much, sometimes we don't get a say. That much is a fact. So, has the blood reached your house yet? I don't think it has. Not yet, but it's all connected. It won't be for much longer. If it keeps going like this, I'm going to lose my hold on this one. I'll go back to what I was before. There won't be nothing left here. I'm old enough to remember when there wasn't anything here. When the first cypress grew. Soon they'll all be gone again. She takes a big sniff. What's that I smell with you? I have to admit that we all probably don't smell very nice at the moment. You mostly smell like mud. I don't mind mud. But there's something else. Q, 
Can you describe it for us? Did you bring a wet bone with you? That would be me. <laughs> I, would, I would answer it, it, Sylvan. It's the blue one. <laughs> he is on our side. I've heard that from their kind before. If you well, for, cannot... for, first of all, great Avoye, uh, I left the damn winter court for a reason. My mm. allegiance is to nature. I want to stop this blood just as much as Malius and every other druid that walks this land. And I would say that if you cannot trust him, but you trust in me because I trust him with my life. And he has gotten us this far. He saved us coming through the swamp. Fought just as hard as the rest of us to get here to you. Did you say Malius? What, uh, what is the inflection there? Does it sound angry? Oh, <laughs> Does she yes. sound angry? Oh, no. He sounds pissed. Oh, turn and look at get a turn and look at Maylis and go. What did you do? The hell did you do? <laughs> what did you do? We apparently keep great company. We when keep you the turn best to look of at company. Him. When you turn to look at him, he is pristine clean. Every last one of his wounds gone. He looked like he looked when you walked up on his porch, and he oh, no. just grins. I'm going to tackle him off the off the branch into the water. Go for it. <laughs> Roll it. What am I rolling? What is this? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I want a gut instinct. Do it. I um, like it. This is very good. You still have a bardic inspiration. Thank you. Probably going to need it. Your girl's not very strong. What am I? What am I rolling, please? We're gonna call this a grapple. Is that a strength check? Uh, strength or dex, your call. Okay, I'm gonna. Roll how, how do you want to do it? I literally just like launch myself at him, catch him around the middle to and throw us both into the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck my life. That's a six. Oh. He five. Rolled a, he rolled a five. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god yes. and I just want to hold him under the water because I can't cast I can't cast anything so just oh god <laughs> you've got him there <laughs> Justin yes I'm, ass- I'm assuming there's there, there's Flora under the water because we are in a swamp. Correct. Entangle. Do it. Love it. I, I'm going to help my friend. Do it. Oh, um, no. it's, it's 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 just he is. Where, where's the words for the spell? <laughs> uh. Grassing weeds and vines sprout from the ground with a 20 foot square, starting from point within range. They turn the area into difficult terrain. Strength saving throw or be restrained by the entanglement plants until the spell ends. Okay. I'm trying to beat your spell save DC. Stick thing. That's a 19 on die. Oh. Oh, uh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Take six off. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. I love this. Yes. Yes. The circle of the Stars Druid is the greatest thing. Since oh, Circle of the grin. Stars Druids are fantastic. Yes, they are. Well, They're so well. good. I don't know what's happening. 
happening anymore. Me neither. You, you brought that son of a bitch into my swamp. Oh. Fixing the problem right now. It's fine. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. <laughs> wait, wait. He spoke of you like you were friends. Last Before we drowned I... them in your swamp, please tell us what is going on. Last time I saw him, he came for the heart of the swamp. He thinks it's his. He thinks he should run this place. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> uh, Nia's going to... He was going to jump off a bugbear and join Aoife, except uh, <laughs> while Aoife's above water trying to drown Malius, Nia goes under the water. And mm-hmm. <laughs> it, oh, she's, she can breathe underwater. It's fine. And just it and, and also attempts to grapple with her amazing strength. Just Or can I use dexterity? You can use dex. Hey. I think at this point they should have advantage because he's entangled. He's already entangled, yeah. Have a swamp kelp. Bye, swamp kelp. And frostbite Diana just looking over the branch like this, it's fine. <laughs> the frostbite cast the spell, he's like he's, he's looking between them and Avoye. This is fine. I'm real this is confused. Fine. I'll pull him out when it's time. No, no, no. We can keep him under attack. Um, uh, I got, I got an eleven. <laughs> I got an eleven. It's yeah. No. Rolled my second five. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going no damn where. Oh. Uh, so in, much in, for my intriguing double cross. <laughs> and Eva, just like the hint is the, the hint of it. Right before Nia's whole body goes underwater, like you can still see the pink dress, but now like her whole body suddenly is like covered in scales the eyes have gone black the uh the nails that are holding him once beautiful and like painted and everything are now very sharp and are just like holding him i can still see like the part down here being painted (laughs) yeah (laughs) they're still painted but now they're like stiletto nails (laughs) You want to get on and on that? Talking to me? No. Uh, y- yeah. Everybody maybe. else is thrown in. If, mm. There is nothing I can do to assist with that. I will help them get out of the water. Elbow drop him. <laughs> yeah. I am in chain is- mail. I will sink like a goddamn rock. <laughs> Doesn't look that deep from up here. Deep enough to drown. Some, some, Only if you're being entangled by plants. <laughs> from somewhere in the clearing, the splashing gets louder. Oh boy! And uh, anybody who looks that way um, can see the full head of Afoye. Oh goody! It's come all the way out the water. Uh, you're starting uh, to see oh, a yeah. good chunk oh, of body. Croc is. Uh, great, Avoye. I, I know you probably want to to devour him, to end him, whatever it is you want to do with him. He has been fighting back the blood on land. I, I don't know if that that will help any sway your decision. This is we. He helped us find you to make sure. For us to make sure you were all right. He spoke of you as you were a friend, not that he was trying to come out here with nefarious purposes, which apparently, according to you, he is. I only know what he did last time. I know he's a slippery little shit. Aoife? Aoife will take her non-dominant hand out of out of the water. Yes. Point at frostbite uh-huh. and whisper some casting message. Yep. Um, can you use the roots to raise him up out of the water but keep him constricted? 
I'll rule, of, I'll, I'll rule of cool that. Yes. Cool of cool it. Yep. Yeah. So uh, Frostbite will, will, I guess, the, the I will cocoon him with the kelp, the, the swamp grasses mm-hmm. and everything. Yep, yep. So, and lift him up so that I, I want everything from his neck bound, just bound, just wrapped in the, the seager, the swamp grass and reeds, and lift him up so that he is looking directly at Avaye. And I will step back. He's all yours. She stomps up. And there are great waves in this bloody water. Her each each foot leaves a wake. You know how alligators move and then. <laughs> Okay, okay. Barge okay. pushing up to bank. And she oh, gets yeah, four, <laughs> four, before you eat him. Or that uh, God's know what you want to actually do. I just want to hear the reasoning. She His reasoning. Down. His reasoning. And her nose which is taller than he is, gets right up to him. Yes, yeah. For I make a snack of you. What you mean by coming up down here? If he could see them, he would be meeting her eyes. He looked somewhat defiant, even covered in blood and wrapped up in green vines. You had your chance to stop this. You knew it was coming. By God, you carry the fey power. You carry a great mantle. You carry the heart of the swamp. And you stay here in your clearing and let your spies do all the work for you. But you know, that one there told the truth. As much as I despise you, you are still, for now, the heart of the swamp. And while I don't want it to be yours, I also don't want to see it die. I came here hoping I could talk sense into you. Hoping you'd let me have the heart so that I can put an end to this. But I see. You liked all of us. I, I really was trying to help. Idea. I think he knew I wouldn't bring him. I wouldn't go. And I don't blame you. I've got a better idea. What is it that you can do with the heart? That she can't. She was never trained. And you were? Of course I was. You've seen that school I went to. You know what they taught there. You saw the way I can work the earth. She got the mantle by luck. I could actually use it. I could do things with it you couldn't dream of. But all I really want is to keep this place safe. Inside check. Yeah. Roll it. Yeah, crawls out of the water. She looks uh, real sirening, covered in blood. <laughs> Looking a little rough. 
23. Oof, nice. He means it. He actually means it. He really, truly believes that he, if he could have whatever the hell this thing is, that he could stop this. He really believes it. I look to Avoyer. What is it that he's looking for? What is this mantle? And what does it do? Get in. Wait I didn't always look like this, yeah. Once upon a time, I was mortal, just like you. And I was given a gift of power, but it came at a cost. It grounds me to this place. Yeah. I am this place because of the power that I was given by Titania. I am not this swamp. I am every swamp. I am the essence of swamp itself, Shah. That's what he wants to take from me. And then I would be a mortal woman once again, just like you. I ain't gonna give it up without a fight. I don't think you should. <laughs> Funny enough, Shell, we in agreement on that. Only question is, do I make a snack of this thing? Or do I let him walk? I find the fact that you two are at an, at an animosity uh, quite strange, considering you both have the same goal in mind. Is there no way to work together? For the good of all swamps, all the- living beings. You because if this blood continues to spread from the to way you both say it, there will be no more. To hear you tell it, it already is working together with me. What do you say, boy? Are you going to try to take the heart again? We going to stop all this mess. Alias just seems to slump. Of course, he can't really slump because he's in <laughs> trust up in vines. But you kind of see his features go slack. He just nods his head. Malius, I have to admit that I am uncertain if this is something that you are now agreeing to do out of self-preservation or if you actually care and and want to save the swamp, want to save Avoye, want to save our home. But I hope that you can find it in you to Work together. You have a common goal. And even if you don't do it for the betterment of everybody else, do it for your parents. You want to see them again, don't you? And if you're tied to every swamp, it's very hard to see them, don't you think? 
Yeah, it is at that. And Aoife, dear, I would say you have questions because your grandmama didn't raise an idiot. <laughs> If it matters, I actually did mean well. Do mean well. It wasn't ever nothing personal. Didn't expect it to be. I understand that the... Our home is much larger than we are. We have to take care of it. No one else is going to. And sometimes that comes at a cost. Well, for now, I think that cost means I stay here. Let's be honest. I wouldn't have got here if it hadn't been for you. Fair. And, uh, one on one at full strength. I'm not really any match for her. We <laughs> proved that last time. <laughs> so fine. Good. Good. Now, fantastic. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, how, in the name of all of the gods, do we fix this? Well, unless my large, scaly friend here has any better ideas, I can start working from the inside out. She uh, may not know how this work is done, but she's got more power than I ever will. Well, accepting the avenue we've already agreed is closed. So, I will start the purification rituals here, teaching her as I go. She has the raw power, I have the know-how. Between us, we can start clearing all this mess out. Once the heart of the swamp is clean, it'll give her a better connection to the earth. That's just Make, a band-aid, correct? That's right. You said, I believe that you had encountered cultists. Yes. And we know that there are bloodsuckers. Yes. Living huh. in the northern half of the swamp. So, let's flank our enemy. I will work from here in the south. You lot go up there and see if you can't clean house in the north. Once we have a good handle on this part, maybe we need to go out and seek out the other animals. Because if they've already tried to take the swamp and we break their hold here, there may be others, like our friend Avoyer, who would come under siege. We need to secure each of the great powers in the home. Check in on everybody. I'm sorry, this is Nikki out of character. Did we already confirm that the the what had attacked Avoye before were the, the orcs and not something else? Uh, we hadn't gotten that far yet. Yeah, there's, there's been no confirmation of that. Oh, okay, then Nia would want to know. Uh, uh, Great Avoyer. Yes, yes. When we saw you the first time, you were covered in uh, wounds and and weapons. Who did that to you? Hmm. Them damn ogles, shall. But they weren't working by themselves. Something had them enthralled. I've been living with ogres in my swamp for long as I can remember. They ain't never been creatures of ambition. That's for sure. And a few of them tasted all kind of wrong. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Do you know what had uh, ensorcelled them? I can think of a better word. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. I'm going to guess it was some undead thing because they tasted like a drown, but weren't no drown. Sounds like the vampires may have found shock troops. Mm. I like that. Well, Well, now we have a plan. We do it. Start of start of right. one, anyway. Yes. Hey, Justin. Yes. When we were in the the Alco, Alco for a better lack of a better term, where mm-hmm. I got the two uh, magnifying glasses. Yes. How far apart were they? Approximately. Uh, about six feet. Cool. Is that all you doing with that? Me for now. For now, okay. Um, anything else we need to do in the heart of the swamp? While we're here, friends. Enough. Does she, does she still look? Fun, yeah, does Avaya still look? When does uh, Avaya still look wounded? No. The the swords and spears or any of that. Mm-mm. You don't see any okay. signs that she was ever hurt. She went. She she went back to her source of power. A little nap. Eat something. <laughs> Got a snack. Got a snack. <laughs> Ross, let's go look at her. Um, I know my kind has proven lack of your trust in the past. How can I prove to you that I'm not like them? I can say is do the work. It's our actions that define us. If there really are enemies of the swamp to the north, bring me one to chew on. We will do our best. I look forward to it then, Winneborn. He steps around a tree to clean herself off, <laughs> become less sireny. Uh, and when she's all done, she just leans over the water and begins throwing up again. Would, would you like me to free him now? It's going to be hard for him to work like that, shall? <laughs> Turn well, him th- loose. This is, your, this is your home, so... When she says that, I would drop the the entangle. As soon as the entangle drops, so does her head. She's right back on him. You remember, I can make a snack of you. He's wearing the brown pants. (laughs) (laughs) He just nods and gives Kurt, yes, ma'am. (laughs) <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> I think that's where we're going to call it tonight friends um, hey. if you want to start the trip back it would be an easy walk um, you can just get on bugbear just get on, yeah, get on bugbear and and take, it, take it nice and slow and oh yeah no Nia, fights on the way Nia, Nia has her glasses on the fans out she's just like we're just slow too much, on too much today is like taking off her boots and like dumping <laughs> them out peeling off her socks perfect love it um yeah and so uh thank you all very much my players thank you thank you thank you um for going crock hunting with me um <laughs> love you dearly friends um before we go uh i do want to say that uh amongst other things uh tonight's encounters uh featured again um the monsters of the guild available on the dmg and also um content from the tome of foes from our good friends at Cobalt press the foam of toes foam of toes 
and a loving reference to Minecraft. In That's the, right, and a loving reference to Minecraft, um, which came to us courtesy of Monster of the Day. Um, so, yes, friends, thank you um, to uh, those who hung around in chat. Thank you so very, very much. Um, we love you so much. Um, and going around the table. Oh, yes, I have been and still am Justin McGregor, um, your demon host. Going around the table, we have. I am Liz. I have been your very swampy, very witchy warlock for the <laughs> evening. <laughs> Uh, I'm Abe. I've been Marge and you're very bear, bear, flaming bear. druid frostbite. Crazy? I said it has, it has okay. 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 I am Kayla. I have been your very soggy paladin, Diana. And it's me, Nikki. I've been your in the swamp super siren bard yeah. Awesome. Thank you so very, very much, everybody. We'll see you next time.